One of the tricks of becoming a successful print-on-demand artist, and what I mean by successful is you're making sales on some print-on-demand platform, is that you can create designs that look complicated, but they're actually really easy to do. So for example, these designs are pretty easy to make, and I'm gonna walk you through exactly how you can make these and similar designs in this video. This technique I'm gonna show you applies to other things, but I'm just gonna use it for countries. And the reason I like countries is, well, there's two reasons. One is that it's, most of them are, well, all of them are public domain. So the idea of a silhouette, so for example, I'll type in Canada into this public domain website. It's S-V-G-S-I-L-H, which stands for silhouette. So here's a silhouette of Canada, for example. I could use this as my image and it's public domain. I mean, it's just a silhouette of the country, right? It's not trademarked or anything like that. The second reason I like these sort of designs is that you can scale them up. And what I mean is, ask yourself, how many countries are there in the world? And the answer is about 200. So that means you can instantly get 200 similar designs. So I'm gonna download this one, and then I'm gonna grab a couple more country designs as well. The other secret here in the magic trick of making these designs is going to a website like, for example, Pixabay. These are all commercially available, free, completely free images. And I'm gonna select some sort of background. So I'm gonna type in the word texture just to see what comes up. You can see here, these are abstracty designs. There's burlap, there's wood, there's wavy lines, there's ice crystals, that sort of thing. You can also select things like stars, for example. And what you'll wind up getting are galaxy pictures. So I'm gonna pick this one here, this astronomy bright, because that's like a textured background that I'm going to use to fill in my design. I'm just gonna click free download and I'll grab the high-end PNG file and then I'll boot it over to my Photoshop. Okay, so I'm using an ancient old version of Photoshop, but if you have a newer version, it's the same. And if you're using things like Affinity Photo, anything where you can do a layer upon layer designs, this will work. So I'm just gonna go here now and plop in my first country design, my first country silhouette. Okay, and I've selected Australia here, that's my country. And it's just a black silhouette. There's nothing particularly special about it. From there, I'm just gonna add a new layer on top. And now I'll put the flag or some sort of design like my astronomy stars on top of it. Okay, so here's my astronomy design that I'm putting on top of it. And then from there, I'm just gonna either stretch it or make it larger. So for example, I'll just do that, make it a bit bigger, stick it on top. And then I'm gonna do what they call a clipping mask. So basically this just sits on top of this. Now, if you're not sure if you've covered everything, what you can do is actually decrease the opacity on this. So right over on the right, there's a little slider and I can make it a bit lighter just so I can see. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm gonna scroll back the opacity to 100%. And I'm just gonna select both layers. And I'm doing that by just selecting the shift key. So I'm selecting one layer, shift, select the second layer. And then I'm just gonna hold down the alt key right in the middle and I'm just gonna click my mouse. Click just like that. And now I've got a mask where it's like a little hole, like a little pinhole, little keyhole that I'm peeking through. And here's my star design sitting inside my country silhouette. So there it is. So now I can take both layers and I can make it smaller, bigger. I can shrink them down. I can merge them. I can do whatever I want with them. It's as if they've become, become one layer. So from there, I, that can be it if that's all I want to do. I can add some text to it as well. So I'm just going to use a little eyedropper tool and just take a similar blue color and then just type in the word uh, Australia. I'll make the font bigger. I'll put it right there. And then pretty much that's it. I've, I've got my design now and I can have that on a t-shirt for example. That's one option. Another option you can do is instead of the stars, you can put in a flag. So for example, I've got the Australian flag. I'm just gonna make that a bit bigger as well. I can put that over top. Then 
Then I'll select both layers. Again, using the Alt key, I can now make basically a, a design like that. Now I'm just gonna put a background on it just so you can see it a little bit better. But imagine, for example, if you had, say, a light pink t-shirt and you had that on the t-shirt, that would be a pretty decent looking design because it's two things in one, right? It's the country and then it's also the flag. And again, you can just move this around inside the country, right? So if you're not happy with the way that looks, you can even make it smaller, or bigger. You're just, it's like you've just created sort of a little cut inside of the file so you can move it around as needed. Now there's one more tip here that I wanted to show you, and I'm just gonna remove the flag here for now, and I'm gonna remove the pink background. And what I'm gonna do is put in some texture first and then the flag on top. So I'm going to add in, for example, the galaxy print. I picked another one. So I'm gonna use this galaxy, for example, starry night sky here. I'm gonna place the file and then I'm going to select both of my layers. So now I've selected Australia and the night sky. Now I've got that in there. That looks pretty cool, right? I mean, on a pink shirt, that looked pretty neat, right? But I'm also going to put the flag on top. So now I'm gonna merge my Australia silhouette and my galaxy picture together. So I'm gonna right click and I'm going to merge the layers. So now this becomes one picture. It's no longer a clipping mask. And now I'm gonna put a clipping mask on top of that too. So I'm going to go File, Place, and I'm going to select my flag. I'm going to put that on top. I'll select the image. I'll put it on top. And now when I select the clipping mask, it overrides it. And then you just go into the channel and you can do multiply, for example, and you can make it talk to each other. You can make the top layer talk to the bottom layer. So I think that's a neat effect that you can do and it's really easy to do, right? So I'm just going to run through. There's darken, multiply, color burn, linear burn, lighten, screen, color dodge, linear dodge, and there's a whole bunch of different options. I'm just going to use multiply just because it's just talking to the two layers. It pretty, basically removes a lot of the white so that's an idea there as well. So it's pretty easy to do. I'm going to do that one more time, but I'm going to do completely different texture just to show you how this looks. So I'm actually going to remove my Australia silhouette and I'll try it with a different country. I'm going to use the United Kingdom, for example. So I'm going to make my United Kingdom drawing there. I'll just remove the text for the purposes of this one. And now what I'm going to do for this design is I'm going to make this textured. So I'm going to put a texture on top of it. So this is a slightly different technique, but I'm going to put the texture on first and then the flag over top of it. So I'm going to place my texture now. So here I've picked a background. It's a metal plate, and I'm just going to use that now as my texture. So I'm going to overlay that entirely over my image, select both images, Alt, and now that becomes like a metallic looking image. From there, I'm going to just put the Union Jack over top of it. So here's the Union Jack design. Now you've got some choices to make. You can make it really big, you can stretch it, you can do whatever you like with it. In this case, I'm just going to rotate it and then I'm going to make it a bit bigger. Now, again, I'm not saying this is the best art in the world. I'm just saying from a technical perspective, this is how you would do it. Obviously, you would make this fit to your preferences. So from here now, I've got a couple choices to make. It's like, hmm, I can put it in behind. Okay. I can uh, also merge the metallic texture and the country together. So I'm going to merge them. And then the United Kingdom now, I merge with that. And then I make the top layer, which is the flag, I now do multiply. So now that gives it like a metallic sheen 
to the actual country. So you're basically, it's like a two for one. You're getting the flag, but then you're also getting a textured flag as well, which is kind of nice. See, the idea here is that I'm going to remove the country just for a second, just to talk about the texturing piece of it. If I remove the country, all I've got left now is just this metal plate. And then I'll put the flag on top. If you just do the metal plate and you just do multiply, that's, that's a design, like right there. So there's nothing wrong with just putting a metal background on something and just texturing a bunch of flags. That's, that's a design. People do that all the time. I'm just adding now in addition to this, the country silhouette as well. So at the end of this video, I've got some examples of just t-shirts and prints and things like that using this sort of thing, either using textured flags uh, or just astronomy designs as well, which are you know all of in the public domain that I'm using. So I hope you found this video helpful. Just a very quick walkthrough on very easy ways you can get a pretty powerful looking image for print on demand. Thanks everybody. Hope you found that helpful.